Welcome to Dart tutorial. In this video, you will learn about polymorphism in Dart. Poly means many and morph means form. As a person, I have many form. I am a student. I am a teacher. I am a son. I am a friend. I have many form. Yeah. An object has also many form. The same method can behave different in different situation. I will show you the screen and let's see a complete demo of polymorphism. Before learning polymorphism, you must have some basic understanding of inheritance in that. If you don't know inheritance, then you can move to our previous section or watch our previous videos. Okay. Now let's discuss about polymorphism. Poly means many and morph means form. Polymorphism is the ability of an object to take on many form. Here you can see as human, we have ability to, ability to take many form. We can be student, teacher, parent, friend and so on. Similarly, in object oriented programming, polymorphism is the ability of an object to take on many form. Okay. In the real world, polymorphism is updating or modifying the feature, function or implementation that already exists in parent class. Okay. Now, here you can see polymorphism by method overriding. What is method overriding? Method overriding is a technique in which you can create method in the child class that has the same name method in parent class. Okay. This is called method overriding. We, you have created method in child class that has same name in parent class as a method. Okay. Now let's do one example. Now here you can see here is class animal and here is one method eat. Animal is eating. Here you can see dog which extend animal and we are overriding this eat method. And okay, now let me open my Visual Studio code and let's do the example. Okay, I'll see, I'll create a file called poly.dart. Okay, and let me create class animal. And I'll create one method called display. Okay, and this will just print animal is displayed okay and i'll extend class cat extend animal and i will also call display first i'll write override if you don't write uh, if you don't write override then this will be also okay but i'll write Okay, override and then I'll say void display. Okay, and I will print cat is displayed. Okay, okay, now let me uh, create a main method. And in the main method, let me create object of cat. Okay. Cat C is equal to new cat. And I'll just say print C dot display. Okay. And I will also not print. I'll directly call C dot display. And I'll also create object of animal. Okay. Animal A is equal to if you don't write new then this will be also okay animal a is equal to animal and i will say a dot display okay now if i run this program that poly dot dot here you can see cat is displayed and animal is displayed okay if i don't have this display override display method okay then if i run this program then you can see animal is displayed and animal is displayed got, got displayed okay okay 
if if you write override and uh, if you write uh, if you write displace then here you can see this method doesn't override an inherited method okay you must write the same name okay now here you can see if you don't write override then this will also work but writing override is a very good technique okay this is called polymorphism here display method act differently on animal class and dis display method act differently on cat class this is polymorphism okay okay now let's uh, see another example polymorphism by method over riding in that okay here is one class vehicle and here is one method vehicle is running and here is bus class which extend vehicle and here is uh, you can see bus is running while creating uh, vehicle object and we are calling vehicle dot run this will print vehicle is running uh, uh, and we are creating bus object and we are running that bus this will print bus is running and uh, if you don't write override in the program this will it still run but but it is a good practice to write override okay and here you can see another example here is class car okay let's do this example i'll just write car dot that okay let me create a class called car and i'll create one method where display and let me print car runs on petrol okay and let me create class honda extend car okay and i'll not write anything just i'll create another class class tesla extend car let's say okay we already know that tesla run with electricity okay then we need to override this method this display method okay tesla will override just write override at the rate override and then we need to write void display okay let me print tesla run on electricity okay okay electricity and let me create main method void main and let me create object of tesla tesla t is equal to tesla and i'll just write t dot display and i will also create object of car car c is equal to car and i'll say car dot display okay this display method is same but it behave differently on tesla and car okay or you can say honda okay this will not car but honda okay okay now if i run this program dot car dot dot okay i need to write car dot dot okay here you can see tesla run on electricity and car runs on petrol okay in this way you can use override and this is called polymorphism in dart if you have any question regarding polymorphism then you can comment down below and here are some advantage of polymorphism subclass can override the behavior of a parent class this is the advantage and it allows us to write the code that is more flexible and reusable okay this is another advantage i hope you understood about polymorphism if you have any question regarding polymorphism then comment down below i will see you in the next video if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends thank you so much for watching thank you